everybody, this is Marjorie. <laughs> look at me today. I'm all, I'm all beautiful in my colours. I look like a, a Notting Hill carnival. Big explosion of colours. Oh, it's beautiful. She and link down below. Now, I'm just off the phone with Asda. Right, because, well, I've done something I've never done before and I ordered the messages online. I went on at the computer and I says, right, I'm that busy. I mean, I'm that busy with all the wedding preparations for, for Felix and Fanny's wedding that I've not got time. I've not, there's not enough hours in the day to day, everything. So I says, no, I've not got time to go to the supermarket. So, Connie, you know Connie from next door? She came in and she helped me. She helped me with the Asda. But see if they've no got something that you've ordered, they send alternatives. You know what I mean? They don't phone you up and say, no, we've no got any of them, what else would you like? No, they decide what's an alternative, right? So I'd ask for cooking apples, because I fancied making a wee crumble. They sent me bananas, right? So they cooked the apples uh, and, and they sent me the bananas. So I went on to the phone and I says, excuse me, hen, I was going to make an apple crumble and you've sent me bananas. Why would you send somebody bananas when somebody wanted the apples? I mean, it's not even the same shape. And I don't think anybody would thank me for a banana crumble and custard anyway. And the other thing was pork sausages. Well, they didn't. They ran out, right? So she sent me toad in the hole. I says, I made a meal for one toad in the hole. I says, excuse me, hen, what am I supposed to do? Pick the sausages out? And I says, oh, no, 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 no. So I wasn't like it. I'm old fashioned. I like to go into a shop and feel things, you know, and pick them up and squeeze them and give them a wee tug. Anyway, so that was that. And then I've got all this commotion. I'm on the phone and my door went. I'm out at my door and I'm signing for a parcel with the postman. And in comes Fat Boy, you know, and in comes the motor. And I'm shouting up to him. I says, have you ever done the online shop? And they went, no, darling. I like to go into Tesco and pick out my own things. And I says, I will so dad, but I was, I was very up against time. And he says, he's holding this bag, right? And he says, in fact, I'm just back from Tesco. And he went, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I says, you've not got a lovely bunch of nothing. You man, man came out come. Anyway, he goes into the house. And then, well, Senga. Senga's coming along. And I says, oh, hello, Senga. Where have you been, hen? Where have you been this morning, Senga? And she says, I was away. I was away at the doctor's surgery. I was away seeing the, the practicing nurse. And I went, oh, the practicing nurse, Senga? Is it, did they not have any fully trained nurses today? No, just the one that's practising. She says, aye, just the practising nurse. I says, oh, well, that's lovely. And she says, look at you. You're looking very bold to the day, Marjorie. Yeah, all your be beautiful bold colours. I went, I know there's another one of my she and topes have sent me. And she said, you know, Marjorie, you can pull anything off. I says, I do. See, after I finish filming, I pull everything off. <laughs> um, but she says, oh, you've done well with your sheen tops, haven't you? She says, you've had some absolute beauties. I says, well, I suppose I, that, that's very true, depending on your definition of beauties. But she says, there's, it's not everybody could get away with wearing what you've worn. I says, well, you know, I think I've just got one of these faces that can, you know, pull off anything. You know, it's a beautiful, I mean, look at this sheen. This is lovely. This is this is like one of these, you know, the, the parades. I should be in a float. I think I should be in a float. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. So I says, what what was the nurse? What nurse was it you had? She went, you can that you can the man with the face. And I went, Oh no, no her. You know, face like a bulldog, chewing a wasp. I says, Are you talking about the one that looks like a bouncer? She's quite like she's like a man woman. And she says, Aye, that's her. I says, no. We're saying that she's not a bonny woman. I think she's really, I think she's quite a bonny lassie for the back. It's just when she turns round, you get a, a friend, you go, <laughs> anyway. And then she's about to bump into Dorothy because obviously Dorothy's the doctor's reception. I says, did you see cheery Dorothy? She says, oh, aye. She says, do you know what she says to me? She was watching, she was watching live at the Apollo, right, on the telly. And Dorothy says to Senga, I think I would like to be a stand-up comedian. Well, I went into hysterics. I nearly wet myself. I'm sure there was a wee bit of pee-pee running down my tights. I went, Dorothy is a stand-up comedian. <laughs> I mean, that is funny. I have to get to Dorothy. That is absolutely hysterical. <laughs> Dorothy is a stand-up comedian. I says, stand-up? She couldn't be a comedian sitting down, let alone standing up. She's, she's not very funny. I mean, I wouldn't laugh. And then Senga says to me, unlike you, Marjorie, you're a funny girl. I says, well, Senga, humour, where would we be without humour? You've got to laugh. I mean, if you didn't laugh, you would greet sometimes. And I think, no, a girl, a girl has to have a sense of humour. 
Oh, that's like one of the, the songs for the for Funny Girl. You know the Barbara Streisand? Funny Girl, oh, that's a good film, isn't it? You know, it's about Fanny Bryce, the comedian, and, and her, the husband. What's the husband called? Oh, my Lily. Oh, no, that's no, that's that's another comedian. What's the name of the man that's in Funny Girl with Barbara Streisand? Is it, oh, um, Omicron Sheriff. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that's a great film. People, people need people. Don't tell me not to rain. I'm the greatest star. I am by far. <laughs> oh, it's one of my favourites. It's lovely. Well, then we started telling each other funny stories, didn't we? And I used to think, here, see, the other morning I was in the shower. I thought my bum was coming off. She says, oh, my God, did you have to phone an ambulance, Marjorie? I says, no. I was, right, I was cleaning, I was, you know, la, 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 and then I put my horn, I put my wee sponge behind, my, you know, my bum, <laughs> and I felt, I thought, oh my god, my bum cheek's falling off, it wasn't it, I'd just been on the toilet just before, and a wee bit of sh a sheet of toilet paper had got wedged up my bum cheeks, and I thought, <laughs> I felt like I felt this bit flat, and I thought, oh my god, my bum's falling off, oh what a fright I go, anyway, and then the other thing that I always laugh at, you know, when folks say, talk about humour, when folks say, Oh, I'm sorry I'm late. The traffic was nuts. I went, what was this traffic doing? Was this, tra was this traffic telling jokes? Did I think it was Michael McIntyre on the wheel? On the wheel! <laughs> oh, um, but I get quite, I get quite miffed one day because, you know, this, you know, the, the, the woman, the man woman that I'm talking about, the practicing nurse, she says to me one day, right, she says, you're a bit like me. It's not so much about looks, it's more about the personality. I says, honest to God, what a cheeky cow, I says, excuse me, I hope your next job is a hedgehog. You shouldn't say that, but I do like, I like humour. <laughs> I once went, they were playing a ladies golf tournament, right, locally, and I says, oh, I'll get a go, I'll get a go. No, I'd never played golf in my puff, I didn't even count what end of the golf club to, to hold. And, the, and this snooty man comes up to me and she says, what's your handicap? And I says, well... I've got a twisted ankle and I've got badminton's elbow, but apart from that, I should be absolutely fine. <laughs> <laughs>